beautiful spring is here. It's such a vibe. Welcome back to Dear Dot Me. <laughs> For today, I am shooting a campaign, a social media campaign at home. So I'm just finishing up with my makeup. Uh, I'm also, excuse the mess in the background because I'm about to fail my spring haul. Just realized on part one how much um, I've said the word spring, so I'm gonna try to minimize the S word <laughs> as much as it's, you know, super bright and super peppy um uh, sad surreal and um I, it's been extremely tough especially with everything that's going on in the world and i'm definitely like you know even though in, on the outside everything looks kind of good and everything looks jolly and you know there's work i'm still very affected by it and I can just imagine people that doesn't have access to a healthcare because right now I've reached out for help. I'm talking to a therapist, a psychotherapist. Okay, this is actually my favorite mascara with a thicker, more voluminous side. And then if you open it on the other side, it's the it kind of drains the product a little bit more. And this is the mac hot and naughty waterproof flash so anyway <laughs> but yeah um i definitely like got into the a point maybe like the lowest point in my life and the depression that i felt isn't i don't think i've ever felt it that extremely and you know i was lucky that i had friends that was like quick to like say reach out for help reach out for help um and so i did and it's been helping a lot one of my most recent talks with my therapist actually is that um there's like certain things that i did that i thought was self-care you know <laughs> but actually they're not self-care and Self-care actually are things that you do that kind of help put you in a position so you can be mentally, spiritually, physically better. And um, a lot of our self-care activities is actually just self-soothing. So she was like, give me a list of the things that um, you do for, for self-care. And I was like, oh, I, I binge watch um, Downton Abbey and curl up with a cup of tea. And she's like, that's not self-care, that's self-soothing. And I was like, what? And so she told me um, self-care actually is things that help you make you feel better. Like meditation is self-care. And um, I started getting Reiki and that's self-care. And I've also um, have been writing on my morning journal it's kind of like a morning journal gratitude journal dream journal so i divulge all of the all of my feelings and thoughts right when i wake up and that self-care i've also been getting into reflexology and um massages and that's been such a great help it's almost like a release Spring isn't really all that like fun and bright and peppy. Weather changes and seasonal um, mood disorders are real and f you feel like you've been experiencing something very similar to what I've been going through. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm using Maybelline Magnetic Moth. Also in my last, um, my previous vlog, I talked about some of my thoughts on 
the stop asian hate movement and i also just wanted to let you guys know i'm gonna be putting down resources on my description box on some important reads and also places to donate for helping push forth this movement because it's it's really important and the other day um in brooklyn a man tried to push an asian woman down the subway on the tracks and that's just the unfortunate truth of the world that we live in and if we don't take actions and we don't put our money our money where our mouth is this movement really is just going to be for show and yeah this is uh the tom ford's misbehave number 49 it, and it's the perfect spring lip color it's like a pinky corally shade and i just love it i also just put my hair up in a bun it's still a little wet but i wanted to put it in a bun to just give it some waves let's see what it gives i just gave it a little wave it's a little wet but Okay, let's get a little bit of spray on it. I have the glittering smoothing spray from R and Co. It has like gold glitters on it. Very nice. I'm like you can kind of just see how it accentuates. Like your hair and everything. It's very subtle. So it just adds a little bit of shine and smoothness. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna air dry my hair. Maybe I'll do a I'm thinking of doing cute pigtails. Let's see. I was thinking maybe um take this part out and then do like a little which is still so wet and I don't want to style my hair when it's still wet and then do like cute pigtails instead of tying with a clip I'll just use one of those clippy things While my hair is still a little wet. Okay. Just grabbing the front section and making sure that, you know, it's kind of even on both sides. So I'll just twist. I look even kind of look crazy and then secure with a clip um and then maybe just a little lip gloss and then I'm good to go I think for today I'm gonna do a uh, six which is reef and it's a more pinky like a light pink and I think it'll match the Tom Ford misbehave perfectly Let's start this haul. Um, I'm going to be separating the haul in four different categories or three different categories. So fashion, beauty, and home and gardening, garden wear. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with uh, a few H&M dresses that I picked out. I picked this out actually last year and I picked out a bunch of them in one style because last year I decided that I was only going to live in linen dresses for house dresses in H&M in their conscious line they have um, this beautiful linen dresses and they just released it again I just saw it up on their website again and so if you want it you should get it because the last time it kept like selling out and it kept like 
going to the store, going online, like I was kind of crazy about these dresses as you can tell and they have them in a few different colors so I have the white, white one in here, it's just so beautiful, it's a sweetheart neckline, slinky strap and it's adjustable so it's perfect, this gorgeous button and a little metal like closure so it doesn't flap open and then I got it in this beautiful print. This is one of my favorites. It's a Trois de Jouy print. This could easily be like a Christian Dior dress if you weren't looking at the tags and I love it. It's the same cut, the sweet card neckline, the same button. I wore this every day. It's my favorite print that this dress came out. This is also back in stock because I just double checked um, on the website but I feel like you should get it soon because I wouldn't be surprised if it sells out really fast. So this one is one of my favorite linen dresses. It's so pretty. It's the one I'm wearing right now. I have a backup, obviously, in case they stop making them. So this is what the dress looks like. It's a uh, midi length. <laughs> you can't really see me, but it has a garter in the back, so it's you know comfortable. It's not too tight. There's room. Love it. I also have it in black. So you guys know I definitely oops. I wore this every day and the straps came out because I was like doing so much. So I'm gonna sew this back in and I just pulled it out of storage. That's why it's I haven't sewn it back in. Okay. Another black dress is this um, Reformation. This is called the Rue dress, I believe. It's called the Rue dress. Um, I'll leave a link below on how it looks, but again, the same like midi fit and flare style, but this one is more of a, a stretchy cotton instead of this one, which is like linen, and linen is a little bit more like rigid and wrinkly. This one is more stretchy and it just fits so beautiful. I'll insert a photo if I can find one um, with me wearing it. Otherwise, I'll insert another photo from the website. My next items are gonna be vintage fashions because you know me and I love vintage clothes. I'm gonna start with I went to the James Peloria store in Chinatown and I love, love, love their store and the way they brand the uh, vintage collections that they have. And so I went to the James Peloria store and in Chinatown and picked out this Alaya skirt. It's so stunning and I love Alaya skirts so much. Like you wear this with like a basic tank top and the flare of the skirts is insane. Like look at how much fabric that is and like when you twirl there's just there's so much um i have this in black and but the one i have in black i think is a wool material so that one is a little more for fall and i think this one is more springy because it's lighter as you can see it's a little more see-through and yeah it's gonna be my favorite skirt of the season Next vintage pieces are from Retrospectrum New York. My best friend Caleb runs the site and he uh, recently posted his spring buy and I saw that he posted this apron and I was like, <gasps> I have to have it. But look at how pretty. This is like all of my cottage core vibes in this apron. Sold after I saw it. It needs a little steam, but at the very bottom it has this like kind of mermaidy style bottom. I wish I can show you all the way down. I feel like this is a moment. Cottage core vibes. <laughs> I love it so much. And I think you can definitely wear it. Just flip it out and just have it like that. So if I'm, you know, gonna go do some baking, some cooking, and I wanna look cute, or if I wanna film a vlog, cooking, this is gonna be my apron. Love that. And then the last purchase from um, 
retrospective spring collection is this ankline. It's like a vintage 80s jacket. And it's so stunning. I love the color on this baby. Very 80s power vibes. Dynasty vibes, you know. I love this color. This blue is gorgeous. It definitely looks like I also have a blue Mugler that looks very similar like this and it fits like this as well. And it's just the dream. Stunning. Fits so beautifully. You can like look at the details. And I feel like they really don't make clothes like this anymore. So yeah, shop vintage and it's better for the environment too. Better for your wallet, better for the environment. Okay, next up is Zara. The brand is Zara. I'm sure you guys are very familiar. I found this two-piece set. Uh, it comes with a midi skirt with a really long slit in the back. And then the blazer with silver buttons. Let me put on the blazer so you guys can see. I just put on the blazer. It's just so stunning. It's double-breasted. I wore this on my skincare vlog, so if you remember, this is that. I, I love how long it is. Yeah, so this is um, Zara. Next one is this. It's like a t-shirt. No, uh, a tank top with shoulder pads, and I love that. And it's actually long enough to be a dress. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it with this blazer and it looks so cute and I kind of got them at the same time to do exactly that. Next up is this Zara blazer with the matching shorts and it's navy blue and I really have... Um, I'm having a love affair with navy blue and I don't own a blazer that in navy blue and I love that this is a set also and I style them you know separately and that's all. Last but not least is <laughs> I couldn't resist this is um, a running outfit with shorts and a little cropped windbreaker and this color is just this color is just me okay pastels baby pink yellow like with cute, cute running shoes, like, and honestly, getting like cute, like, workout clothes help motivate me with working out. So, it's a good purchase. Our next category is jewelry and um, accessories. So, first off is, so I saw this as an Instagram ad. Wow, I been looking for um, pieces like this for a while now and this is from a brand called objects you guys let me know if they're any good because it was kind of an impulse buy and i've picked out this um pearl drop earrings with like they have like organic shapes instead of like a perfect pearl which i find is a little bit more modern i can put this on for you so you can see so that's one side. Is that so nice? Alright, so this is them on. Kind of goes with this outfit too. Love it. And then another piece to kind of match it. Um, even though I don't want to give too much of a ladies who lunch vibes, but I picked out this pearl strand choker. Um, with the same kind of like organic shapes onto the pearl, so it's a little bit more. Yeah, I can't wear this in this outfit. <laughs> um, no, I can't wear this in this outfit. I feel like I'm about to go to a charity auction or something. Okay, but that's the first jewelry piece that I got for spring. The next one, you might have remembered this piece from last vlog. And I decided to splurge a little bit as retail therapy, self-care. I got the Vivian Westwood necklace, if you remember. I saw this when we were shopping for Aaron's presents, birthday presents. And 
I was just in love. So it's this kind of like, um, seashells and anchors and wheel and maybe Westwood ore. And this looks like it's like rope, but it's actually metal. And it's so pretty. And I can't wait to style this with my, you know, with this vibe. It's super like nautical. I love it. And this would be great for like the summer for a cute bikini. And I really love this. Look at that. Seashell, you know. Yeah. Um, and then another <laughs> item from Vivian Westwood. Okay. Okay, this is a good, this is a good purchase because I really needed an evening bag, a black evening bag that, you know, I can wear today when I'm not taking a lot of stuff and I felt like this fulfilled all of my vintage fantasies, so I was like, I had to have it. Um, and... So I picked up the Vivian Westwood Victoria Frame Purse and I love it, it looks like it's something from the 40s and the 50s it's like the perfect evening bag it also comes with a little chain so you can make it into a shoulder strap i suppose like that it's also so cute this is in um safiano leather and obviously has the orb right there just love it another bag purchase is not as crazy as the vegan westwood this is more of a um high street slash like luxury uh, i don't really know where their category is because some of their bags are up there and some are a little bit more affor affordable but this is from a brand called dylan kane and it's this kind of 80s lady bag. When I saw this, I was like, Princess Diana. It's very 80s, the shape. I love a top handle bag, as you guys would notice. I'm a top handle kind of girl. Um, this also comes with a shoulder strap, but I, it, I put it aside. Um, inside is really beautiful. You know, it has a little zipper right here, but I just love how chic this looks. This bag is called the Lidiana, Lidiana, Lidiana bag. I'll leave the link in the description box if you guys want to look at it online. And it's in this like embossed crop, a really shiny embossed crop finish. Um, definitely faux. So no crocodiles or hurts in the baking of this purse. Next up is beauty and I don't really have a lot in this category but I did um, receive a few things that uh, I feel like are the most springy. Um, so for num the first one is a perfume. This is called the Love by Killian Don't Be Shy Extreme and my friend Ali Thea gave this to me. Uh, she works for the brands and I just love it. It's the notes are marshmallows, amber, vanilla. So it's very like young and flirty and fruity. And when I was looking um, online about this perfume, actually, I found out that Rihanna wears this perfume. So if you ever wonder what Rihanna smells like, smell me. <laughs> That's not what she smells like. Um, but what it, since this is so kind of potent, it's very sweet and sugary. I like to balance it out. I mix it with another perfume. Um, and this is the Creed Asian Green Tea. And so this is kind of more citrusy and bergamot and bergamot and it's just really kind of balances out that sweetness overall. So I like to combine those two. Um, and it's very spring. For beauty, this is the one that I was wearing today that you guys saw me apply. This is my new favorite. This is from my gay father. He got this for me for spring. And this is Tom Ford in Misbehaved. It's like this beautiful corally um, lipstick. And a little goes a long way. I really love it. I love the packaging. 
I also have the a smaller version. <laughs> it's cute. It's like a the one that I live in my purse. But this one is kind of more I feel like it's very like bright and springy. And this is kind of more muted and more everyday, maybe more fall. This has more of a mauve tone. And this is Casablanca. So you'll you kind of see how cute that is. And I love taking this with me in my like tiny purses. <laughs> so cute. Okay, last beauty items. Um, also from what I'm wearing today. Okay. Last um, beauty items um, I'm actually wearing it today are Maybelline Lifter glosses. These are my favorite glosses. They have hyaluronic acid, which just makes your lip like really smooth, really plump. You saw me put on Reef today. That's what I have on on top of the Tom Ford, but I also have it in just like the pearly color. This is actually called Pearl. And I also have Silk, which is more of a deep mauve. And this will match Casablanca really well. And then I have Stone, which is kind of more that like 90s, like brown, nude uh, lip gloss. And I love it. So for the next part would be homeware and gardening and i made a trip to target and michael's just to you know, see what kind of spring offerings they would have and target has a new spring collection i got it in the store so i don't know if i'll find this online but if i do i'll link everything down below um but they have this collection of this like gingham-y springy colors and i was like i want everything and I went a little crazy. Let me show you. So I have the placemat. They come in a set. Um, I also got the gingham in the plates from the same collection. Is the Tika? And I feel like since this is kind of my year-round aesthetic, like this colors and the gingham-y, I just was like splurging. And I also got. The matching napkins and then it kind of doesn't stop there either hopefully no one calls me out that this is a problem but i also got the matching kitchen rug because i just love this colorway this gingham um, it just makes me gives me all that cottage core vibes obviously i'm not gonna style them out when i'm you know having like a dinner situation all together because that's a little too kitschy i definitely have like different uses for them like the placemats work perfectly as kind of like toppers for my you know i have this like wicker basket that i put snacks in you can kind of see the doritos there <laughs> And I put this on top so it's kind of just a little bit more pleasant to look at when it's when it's in my room and Yeah, someone call the gang and police on me, please Last but not least are gardening stuff spring gardening stuff that I found on Michael's um, Again, if I find them online, I'll link them down below if not But I'm gonna start with this because this has been sitting on my shelf and I love 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 it. It's this resin um, spring little flower tree. It looks like it could be cherry blossoms. I don't really know but it fits all of this so well and yeah she just sits right there. I love it. Such a great purchase. Next up are I bought a bunch of pots actually for my plants and we have this little guy. First ones are this like cute like Easter bunny pots and so right now I have my little oregano as you can remember from my last vlog. I also started my indoor herb garden. Um, the oregano so definitely taking a little bit of time with like sprouting as you can see this one is barely have any and this one is really growing out the spot but i wouldn't be surprised if i have to transfer them to a bigger pot soon but these are cute like baby pots for them um i also picked out this other pot that's so cute this is definitely inspired by like 
Fr south of France, like the farms in south of France, and I put this little gold ribbon around it just to kind of dress it up. And I have my snake plant in here, and then I have the bigger one because the oh, this is heavy. So they come in that size, and they come in a bigger one. And I just have my hyacinth on here. Unfortunately, my hyacinth um, bloomed, and they're done for the season, but. If you're looking for uh, plants that are perfect for spring, the hyacinths are, they leave your room smelling incredible and they're better than any candle because they just release the most beautiful scent. Um, and this was a purple hyacinth before it wilted. So the big one and the baby version. And I also put the gold ribbon on it because why not? Next pot is this gorgeous mini little seedling terracotta pot. I love terracotta pots because this is better for your plants too because it helps aerate the soil because they're, the, they're porous. Um, so they're good for plants instead of leaving them in kind of like a plastic pot which traps the air and the moisture out. So. These are good. I tried my chives um, on here, but they didn't take, so I took them out and I put them in a bigger pot, and hopefully, you know, they'll start to take a little bit better. Um, okay, next pot. So this is my next pot. This is this beautiful, another terracotta pot with my orchid. Um, she hasn't bloomed yet, but this terracotta pot has this, like, green, sagey green etchings, and it's kind of all this, like, gorgeous botanicals and I loved it and I feel like that just adds so much to it and it also has this like gorgeous scallop detail. Love this pot so much. Last pots uh, that I picked up at Michael's is so I have this little baby orchid in this gorgeous rattan and terracotta pot which is so pretty and I also picked up so this is baby and then this is mama it's an, also an orchid but this is much bigger it's also the same um rattan with the terracotta inside so you know it's like baby and mama orchid and of course we also have a papa and this is papa papa pot i have my snake plants um in here and they put some river rocks just to kind of help um because there's like a lot of like gnats that like moist soil so this kind of prevents from insects and everything to living in the in the soil but this is papa mama and baby pots and that's pretty much it now i have to head out um but i will leave everything in the description box below and I have to head out and I'm gonna meet Castle. We're going to Brooklyn. And I also need to shoot this little Instagram campaign, social media campaign that I'm doing. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I meet up with Castle.